That's a good character. I've been joking around with Nordwin with characters because he's trying to do a SNL packet. Yeah. That's fine. Did I didn't see this one that he posted today, but it looked like he got some good feedback. Oh, I didn't. I didn't see it either. He's like a he new me TMZ that reporter. Oh yeah, he was a bad TMZ yeah. reporter. <laughs> that we were joking around. Wait, is that is that what? No, you're no, no. That was that was. I think he 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 did we he did that yesterday or today. And anyways, we were texting earlier, and he, we were talking about his character was like a horrible Shark Tank contestant. And then we started joking around and just started like laughing at the idea of like a, a daytime Shark Tank, where it's like like people scored is like lawsuits over like fifty bucks. It's like a two hundred dollar Beanie Baby collection. And there's like a Judge Judy episode about it, and we were like, if there was just like a a daytime sharks, where it's like meet the sharks. Daniel is the manager of a local enterprise rent a car <laughs> and sold his action figure collection for eight thousand dollars. <laughs> He's like, Sharks, I'm looking for a hundred dollars <laughs> for ten percent of my Xena action warrior princess. This is a one of a kind action figure. <laughs> It's like really, really low stakes stuff, but everyone takes it super seriously. Who, who would be the sharks? Just like random dudes, we were joking. Mark Cuban's nanny was one of the sharks. <laughs> I think Mr. Mark would like this one. <laughs> like, I will buy it. <laughs> it's pretty good. That's a good one, dude. And just like, <laughs> just like some mid-level successful people. Yeah, like daytime. Who would be Day daytime? <laughs> yeah, daytime. That's great. Daytime shows. They did a good job with this. Is that the one with, where the string goes to the side? Mm-hmm. Don't stop it. I uh, won't. I mean, yeah, take that. Please, God. It's the one that's water resistant. I could pour champagne on that phone. Japanese. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if it's Jap. Rock house. Could be Asian. Wait, what's your, what's your <laughs> could vote? Could be Asian. Could be Chinese. Oh, is rock house the one on top? No. I don't feel like trying. Yeah, I would do... Pho? Pho? I don't fuck with pho. Pho? No, I'm not. Pho? Uh, Pho? Uh, uh, yeah, about it. Pho? Uh, yeah, about it. What's good in, like... Freedom Nista? <laughs> Do M Cafe down in Venice? Meh. What is? It's a drive for like. No. Uh, oh, like oh, oh, I thought healthy, of a. I thought of a. Like a sit down. A, a curveball. When was the last time you guys had barbecue? What kind of barbecue? I don't know. That baby blues place on. Mm, eh? eh? Ew, gross. <laughs> gross. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mexican food? Um, not opposed to Mexican food. Not opposed. Not really opposed. Four not four it not is. Opposed. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I would do talpa. I, we could do some margaritas. I would do some margaritas right I'm now. I'm in. Talpa. Easy. Talpa. Gold fat with the whole thing. Let's go. Gold fat and ending Win. dinner time. Win. Oh. Gold fat in. that Mexican. Close. Close. That. Close. Close. Good. Good. Drinks. Speaking of Mexican, Betsy and I... Tried this pra- place. This place. 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 Broken Spanish downtown. Have you oh, heard of this yeah. Place? I have heard of that spot. It's the guys um, from the guys who brought you from the guys Shark who brought Tank. You something. I it's a, it's a Mexican spot. Chef. It's pretty bomb. We didn't order any of the like. Accoutrements? No, big proteins. Right. Geotox? Yeah, we just shared some small plates, but they had these blue corn fresh tortillas that were just Yum. like so fucking good with this they it was a oxtail quesadilla. Mm. Wow. Mm. This braised oxtail quesadilla. Mm. They made their own queso and this blue yes, corn, it was just like boom! Yellow it was sauce. Delicious. Mm. And some queso, exactly. Is Talpa yellow, yellow sauce? 
Yeah, not a lot of people do queso sauce. in LA. Wow. Yeah, I've never ordered queso at a national restaurant. I mean, they have nachos, but yeah. not queso. Mm. You would love Texas, bro. I love yellow sauce. You would love <laughs> Texas. You it love is on every sauce. menu in Texas. I could dip my hand in yellow <laughs> <laughs> Not even a finger. The whole fist. It's like those wax <laughs> just, hands. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. rub your hand what? first. <laughs> <laughs> Salty. <laughs> and then just put your hand in a bag of chips after. <laughs> like yeah. a tart. They'll all just like stick to it. <laughs> yeah. It's like blood sport. No, I'm just, ah, just scorching hot. John, did you John. hear their... Um, how did this get made is blood sport. When? Recently? Just the most recent one. No, I gotta listen to it. Uh, I love that I, fucking movie. That I was just listening to it. Oh, it was actually... That, that scene is from Kickboxer, where it's like an underground fighting arena, and like Jean-Claude Van Damme gets his hands taped before he fights. And each fighter like dips it in like glass, glass and shit. And, like that. nails and oh, fucking just yeah. like the gnarly shit. Dude, Jean Claude and Steven Seagal were both so like good. fucking awesome. Gold Fett and love Seagal. I well, don't fuck with Seagal too I much. started with Jean Claude. You love Seagal. Yeah. Dude, Seagal was. He was a man of his time. <laughs> sure oh, yeah. was. Under Siege is still such a classic. Classic. Under Siege 2 wasn't even that bad. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't even that bad. Uh, no, right? It was on the train. I'm pretty sure Under Siege 2 is like, yeah, yeah, Under Siege 1 was on the boat, 2 was on the train. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. Was 3 in the air? 3 was the weird one on the boat again. <laughs> Back on a boat. Back they on couldn't a boat. recreate the magic. They just couldn't do it. It's because they didn't have Tommy Lee Jones yeah. and Gary Busey. Did I do that? Should we go? Mm -hmm. Did I do that? Yeah. Yeah. Let me hit the bowl like, a little Put bit. Just, just a little. Yep. You might hear. I don't know if there's anything there. Oh. It's that green crack that goes on. You think I'd be able to pinch a nug off you for the night? I'm looking to just get some weed from yeah. somebody. Yeah. I've, I've been dry for. Of course. Too long. But I guess yeah, I mean, it doesn't take much for me. I just need a little bit. Yeah, I got you this week, bro. That's fine. Like it'll take me. I'll th that eighth will last me like two months. That makes one of us. <laughs> that makes just you. <laughs> I used to be able to smoke like an eighth a day. An eighth a day. Sounds about right. That's um, not an eighth a day. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, one hit. We, we, we collected jars at my oh, yeah. apartment. Yeah. So much weed. I'm just smoking, not like get that high. Just like yeah. keep ripping bowls. Just, and just bong. Yeah, bongs and blunts. And blunts, so many blunts. blunts. Now, what did Garrett do for spring break? So many he blunts. He and like 16 of his buddies went to, I oh, think, shit. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, yes. which apparently that is a sounds giant so, spring break. That sounds place. very bro -y. Super so like frat bro. Jesus Who went? And Garrett? Garrett and 16 of his frat bro friends. Oh my God. And they had like a, just a house. A monster sure villa. That they just demolished it and just erected. Ugh. And oh, they're so fucking cheap too. And or broke. They literally, and they probably just had a bunch of drugs. Is the honest answer. But they drove to from Indiana to Florida. Oh Florida, my god! Seventeen what? hours. Did they stop? Who wants to? Who the fuck wants to drive back? Did you guys hear about the fuck Indiana <laughs> to Florida? Yeah, oh. that's kind of cool. If you drove, you rented a car. That's a fun a drive. Cars. Sober. Yeah. Yeah. You rent a couple cars. Did they do you already drive now? I don't think so. I think they just drove out there just and then they had this house. Wow, that is epic. That is a shitty drive home, that's for sure. Yeah. Did you guys that see that? That sounds like a real Midwest spring break. Seriously. That or like New Orleans or something. Yeah. Did you guys see uh, the Dan Bilzerian wager that's going on? No. no. He has uh, like a $900,000 bet, or it's pushing a million right now, that he cannot ride his bike from his Hollywood Hills house to Las Vegas in 48 hours or less. And that he can or can cannot. Ride? He's saying he can do it. There's oh. a bicycle? Yeah, he's got to ride a bike from... Not a motorbike. No, 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 his bicycle. How many miles is that? I think it's like 255. 
in 48 hours. And so is that what is like if it's like if it's a pro- you can do that. He'd if probably he's like, just get killed on the highway. I don't know. That is fucking dangerous as fuck. There is there isn't a bike lane on the mm-hmm. 10. So he says that he says that he has a $500,000 straight up bet with this dude named Bill Perkins. And then he has a side bet of like 250,000 where if he wins, he gets the money. If he loses, he loses the money. But if he dies or has a heart attack, then it's just like a wash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Guys, he yeah. paid with his life. Yeah. That's worth more than that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, that'll be that'll be. That's exciting. pretty raw. Who is that? The is that the dude on the Instagram who's like really fucking crazy? Yeah. I mean, lives that like just crazy like two hundred and fifty yeah. miles. It I might be more. It takes like four, or takes five like four hours. hours. To get there. So if you're driving 85, you could do that. In, cause well, what do people do like three day bike tours professionally? I'm curious what mileage that looks like for a professional bike rider. He said the longest he's gone in one trip was 45 miles, and he did it in like three. Yeah, hours. like those legs during the Tour de France are like legs for a reason. Hmm. I, don't know. I don't know. Sounds pretty fucking crazy. Sounds though. sounds pretty crazy. Mark. I mean, I feel like if a... Uh, I'm not going to drink tonight. Grub. Is Just it? grubbing. Grub. Maybe an orange soda. There you go. Is it... Like, I feel like... 